All right, attention South Carolina. If you're seeing more armadillos on the side of the road or in your yard, you're not alone. Experts say armadillos have called the state home for a while, but thousands more are coming every year. Our Peyton Furtado learns why. When the Paris's moved here, they were drawn in by the peace and quiet of Lake Greenwood. It's just, it's just gorgeous, peaceful. Little did they know there was a lot brewing underneath the surface. After seven years of living on the lake, Lynn Paris began to notice huge holes in her yard. It looked like it had been plowed. For years, armadillos have migrated from South America through Texas and Florida, and now they're making their way through South Carolina. My preacher said that God made them with leftover parts. <laughs> <laughs> now they're in Lynn and her neighbor's backyard. Climate change has a part in it. As we get warmer, as we get drier, wetter, kind of more tropical climates, you could say, uh, that's what the armadillo loves. They love sandy, they live in clay, um, but they love heat. Belkin says the armored animals are more of a nuisance than a danger, tearing up yards and sometimes foundations. Stupid armadillo has come back. It looks like we've been plowing our yard. We've got little deep shovels, sharp nails is how they can dig those deep holes. Sometimes carrying diseases like rabies and leprosy. While Belkin recommends leaving them alone, Paris says she's tried everything to get rid of them. Only one thing worked. I would get up at two o'clock, keep my blind up to see if I could spot them out here, and then I'd go wake him up to come out here and shoot him. As climate change progresses, Belkin says there's no escaping the pointy snouted species. It's learning to live with the wildlife and with the environment as opposed to trying to work against it. In Lawrence County, Peyton Furtado. Everybody's coming to South Carolina. The armadillos are no different. WYFF News 4.